If you had a can, like if you came in here, we weren't here. Where would you hit? What spot would you hit? Go ahead, get busy. Get busy, dog. I hit a box bar. Time you showing up? Huh? Getting close, man. You ain't gonna work on the top down there either. So that's gray. Why are you gonna hit gray with, you know, silver with gray? Like you gotta hit like on the color? Oh man, you just down here? Alright. Did we just talk about that? Yes. <laughs> right? Okay. Got you. So you just went over somebody. The you the tagger? How are taggers supposed to get up? Okay. You know? That dude, that, that dude, you just went over homeboy. He's gonna come, you know, he's gonna, you know, why you disrespect me? If we saw you in the streets. How you gonna disrespect homeboy right there? You know? So what are you doing over here? We are removing graffiti off the Jaya mural. Yeah, I heard Bill uh, Lobendahl was doing a new uh, graffiti law. You can't, you can't paint the, uh, I guess the wall now. Yeah. yeah. You have to have the permit and a jacket. But it's really out of hand now because of graffiti. Right. So this stuff comes out? Yeah. How? Well, we have different uh, cleaners designed for removing graffiti. Yeah. And then um, we'll be putting a, a consolidating coating and a anti-graffiti coating. So yeah. it'll actually be able to just wash off. It's amazing, man. The, those guys are determined, those guys. Uh, I talked to a couple of them. Mm -hmm. They say uh, for them it's pain to write the name on the wall. Yeah. But they, they're basically ruining Venice. They, they go all over the place. It's a great mural right here. Yeah. And they're trying to destroy it. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this kind of work um, for about 10 years. So you, you get paid to, to move, you get paid for this? Yeah. It's amazing. Man. This is my job. So it's a job for you. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please don't stop the graffiti people. <laughs> You'll put me out of a living. <laughs> so you could actually restore, restore this? Wall yeah, this will be restored, again? yeah. Is, the the same, process. is it the same stuff they use in New York City on the subways? I'm not sure what they use in the subways they in have New York a, They have a coating now on the subway. Oh, do they? And uh, if, you do, if, you, if you spray it, you just wash it right off. It, it very well may be. Um, I'd have to look into that, actually. So uh, what do you charge for this if you mind me asking? 
What does it cost? Um, this, we, well, there's several phases. We're actually doing a full restoration of the mural. Um, but, um, and I'm doing two murals at the same time, oh. and so I'm charging for that. But okay. it's several thousand dollars. You got a website? Yes, I do. Do you have it on camera? Yes, it's uh, NZA Patina. Patina. You can't tell what that is, but, well, that's a letter. Yeah. All right, so you got a letter. Right? You can't see the letter? Yeah, I can see it. What letter? D. All right. You're supposed to get a spot, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the spot? Okay. They don't know what the hell they're doing. There's no, you know, they don't take the time to like to, to. I'm not saying nothing. Do you think? Tag on like a like a light color with a light color. Yeah. So tag like on a black spot, like a spot. I'm not know. You really want to be in this game? Yeah. You really want to do this? Yeah. You willing to go to jail? Yeah. If I'm down for it. Are you down for it? Yeah. You're down for it. You should practice your styles first before you put it up on the street in public. Resident? Yeah, I've been living here for 20 years. I'm, I'm actually a paparazzi, but uh, I'm, I'm covering this over here, but I do a lot of stuff on YouTube oh, cool. about the graffiti. And I'll show you guys doing this. I got to go to all the city meetings with Bill Rosendahl, and oh, they're, talk, they're talking about cutting the, uh, getting rid of the graffiti. Yeah. And But I talked to a few of the guys that do it, you know, they, they're not going to quit, they said. Okay. They're, they're going to keep on spraying walls. Why? Have you asked them why they yeah, spray they said, walls? Yeah, they said they do it because they, it gives them fame. They're not gangbangers, but they uh, they write their name and get some, get some big fame. But a lot of this, the names aren't particularly eye-catching. They just look like it's black blobs. No, I work, I work for a landlord down here. Thank you. And uh, they're, they're spraying all over the all over the walls around here. It's really terrible. Mm. So you guys are a team. Yeah. That's great. You can't beat that. Yeah. There's a family business. Well, I'll do. I'll, I'll email you the story on YouTube. You know. Okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to show you a little bit what you guys are doing, all right? Yeah. Thanks. Sure. Can you give me your email address? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, good. And I'm, I'm going to go home and edit the thing, and I'm, I, 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 I will email it to you so you see the link. Awesome. Well, I have the copyright. Oh, you got it. No, so it's yours. Yeah. This is your mirror? Oh, yeah, I'm just doing a YouTube story. What is that? Uh, YouTube on uh, dot com. I do stuff on the, on the web. Okay. I, I, I cover Venice Beach. Cops, graffiti, okay. performers. Anything, anything I can, I'll shoot. I'm actually a paparazzi. I'm shooting the story over here. But I, I saw you guys doing this. This, this is great. Okay. This is really yours? Yeah. You do this? Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. How long, how long did it take you to draw this? A long time. Can I tape you real quick? Yeah, real quick. Yeah, okay. Um, so what do you feel about the graffiti? Well, doing? it's terrible, yeah. of course. They used to respect the public art. They did. And it's a felony. If they, it's over $400 worth of damage. They get uh, a $4,000 fine and a fel count of felony and jail time if they get caught. But how, but how do you catch them? I don't know. They do it probably about five and one. Yeah, what about, a, what, what about a camera set up over here? We've yeah. talked about doing that when this is done. Yeah, because I work with our landlord down there. We have cameras, cameras in our building, uh -huh. outside. 
And they still do it. But they would like to they're hooded. You can't have to see their face. No. No. Well, I have high regard. Right. Yeah. So what, uh, what's this piece called anyway? It's well we call it the Jaya mural. It, it's down there. Uh, the, the Jaya is a women's artist collective. Uh, a Jaya Sanskrit word for nonviolent victory. So this is about the nonviolent victory? Yes, well yes, it's about the sterile white marina taking over our colorful life in the canals. It's amazing. And this was done in 1975. You did the whole thing? Yeah. Well, I had help. I had some of the other women artists help me. And uh, this is your first uh, one, or you have many more around? I have another one on Oceanfront Walk and Park called Endangered Species. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go over there and take that one, too. Because you know? we're going to be fixing that one also. Well, I'm sorry about the, what they're doing to your work. Me, too. You know, it's very sad. I appreciate your... I go to all the meetings with Bill Rosenthal and yeah. the, the city. Yeah. And they're talking about uh, trying to legalize this by the... Uh, yeah. Graffiti wall down there. Yeah, but you know the, the whole idea of the graffiti is so um, anarchistic, you know, that these kids and the young kids yeah. that they're doing this. The graph artists don't go down there anymore. The really good graph artists. Yeah. And that's a whole new art form that should be respected. Well, they had a guy on on uh, let's see Winwood Avenue, the big wall. Yeah. And that that never was touched at all. No. All of a sudden they're just starting to spill over the guy's work. I know. That's Rip Cronk. Yeah, I feel sorry for that guy. You know? Yeah. He loves that uh, mural. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He comes, he lives up north, he comes down, takes it off periodically. Okay, so you guys, you, you fix this now, and what happens now? They, they come it'll at night time? It'll be coated, so if it, they come, we'll take it right off. Wow. So you're actually helping out? Yeah, yeah sure, why not? Every day? Right. I tag every day. You got a marker on you? No. Hey. Come on, man. Come on. So you're a tagger. I'm a writer. I'm an artist. Not like tagging, like just go like cross through like a graffiti. That's how I'm trying to be a graffiti. Then do it. Do some. You should do some letters. Why are you tagging? I want to be an artist, an artist practices art, practices his craft. You practice your craft every day? Right, almost every day. Almost every day? Check on our state. Analyze that. You know? I'm not trying to disrespect you at all, you know? I'm trying to make you, you know, if you want to do something, you got to do it. Don't do it, you know, half ass. You know what I'm saying? Nothing half assed at all. You know, why do it? You know, waste the money, waste the pain, waste the time, waste the headaches. You know, I'm just saying, I've been through all that shit. This is, I'm cool. I'm straight. Did you do somebody backpack? A backpack? Yeah. With paint? Yeah. Spray paint? You gotta, you gotta freaking buff it first. Do you remember? Know, right? mm -hmm. The same name, but a different one. The same name? Yeah, but a different one. With this, SV? Yeah. Who did that? I did this. What's wrong with that? Why don't you do that on the wall? Because I like, I like, I mean. What? What's SV? I'm a skateboard. I mean, skateboard. Skateboard. So it means something. Yeah. What the hell are you? What's that? Wax. You a DJ? 
No, I just have this one. Stick to one name, man. I would much rather see that on the wall than what you did. All that stuff. So. I'm becoming wired. Rules <laughs> and have somebody talk to the kids about tagging and what that means. Right. And um, see if we can reach them, reach yeah. the kids. And then try to set up places where they can where they can paint. Where yeah. they can do. Like, they have the wall down in Venice Beach. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But even creating wall spaces right here, you know, in the in the local neighborhoods where they can express themselves yes. and like that they don't feel they have to go and express themselves on other people's artwork. Yeah, well like for these people it's not it wasn't like a creative expression, this is like to actually have their name up over like something. It's like a, yeah, it's it's a um, fame kind of thing. <laughs> I guess you could say that. So I don't know how to solve this actually, because it's not, it's about like, like it's fame yes. and being seen and acknowledgement from peers that, oh yeah, and I hit up on that wall in that place or something like that. And so I don't know how to, how to resolve that in terms of, you know, through a social program. Because it's, it's something that, um, it's not about creativity. It's about, it's about fame. And that's, that's kind of like, how do, you, how do you solve fame? Right. The desire for fame. Meditation. <laughs> meditation. We're going to have a forced meditation program. Vegetarian diet. <laughs> Okay, we're part of the Venice Arts Council, and uh, we're, we have a fund that we've started called the Endangered Art Fund in Venice, and it's about the, fixing the murals and the uh, art, public art pieces that have been damaged in some way, like the poetry walls on the beach. And so we're asking people to submit money if they can donate, or if they can donate uh, food or for lunches or anything, rags, uh, toothbrushes, cans, containers, everything is welcome. And they can reach us through the uh, www.venusartscouncil.org. Uh, and a phone number? A phone number is 310-306-7372. That's me. Hey, thanks. And your name again? Emily Winters. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.